Hey YouTube, welcome back. Thanks for being here. And I'm in the car on the way to work again. What do you know? Um, it's a little bit, a little bit dicey out here today. A little chilly, a little rainy. But we're making it. We're gonna see what happens. We're gonna go in. We're gonna get them in, get them out, get them fed, get them fat. You know what I'm saying? Uh, anywho. Just figured I'd log on here. I made a couple videos recently that didn't really make it to the YouTube, but uh, it's, it's just because I'm attempting to describe in some of them, uh, attempting to describe 20 years of hardcore pursuit into understanding the nature of reality, like uh, trying to under trying to put that concisely into one video just isn't logical or re reasonable. But I did want to make a video today talking about um, something that has come up in conversation the past week or two for me personally. Um, not in conversation on any type of news channel or outlet or anything like that because we all know where I stand with that, right? I haven't watched news in three years and a lot longer if you really... Uh, you know, I haven't actively participated in uh, any form of um, engagement with any of those since uh, the World Trade Center came down, really. Um, and that was the year I would have graduated high school. But anyways, enough about my history and background. If you all want to know more about that, you can watch some of the earlier videos. Uh, the purpose of this channel is still remaining to, to impact y'all positively and... Um, to do a self-study, uh, basically a, a self-psychology study, um, which is what it was started out as and what it's continuing to be. It's evolved out of the stage where I am pursuing it, um, you know, in an institutional manner, and now I'm independently doing that um, for myself still. So anyways, um, I know I said enough about me and then kept talking about what's happening right now, but anyways, morning, here we are. Love this mug. Isn't that nice? I use it almost every day. Just give it a little finger rinse and it's good to go for the morning. Anyways, uh, what I wanted to talk about is what, what I intend on doing with <clears throat> what I can't, like uh, where I'm going and why. And um, how absurd it seems to me that it's what I'm choosing to do is so difficult in the world that I diff that I you know was born into here, um, and the way it's uh, you know been created to where uh, there's so much red tape and um, a minutia of ordinances and codes and laws and things that keep people from uh, pursuing a. Uh, you know, well-rounded, healthy uh, life, you know, a, a physically, spiritually, emotionally, um, you know, healthy, social um, a way of enjoying yourself and the nature around us that we've been given the gift of being able to cooperate with um, for our enjoyment and pleasure. Um, seems like a difficult path to follow in the way that things are now. Um, so basically what I'm referring to is that there's the real, there's the natural order, the creation that we have the ability to understand and um, utilize and, uh, you know, grow things for our health and enjoyment. Um, and then there's an artificial way which says, oh, you can and can't do this. And when you cross this imaginary line, you, you might be able to do it again. And um, we'll let you know when when uh, when you're allowed to do certain things and um, you know all of these restrictions and um, the so-called uh, I like to say so-called authority um, because the thing that gives this power and that lets it persist and is the people believing that they are subjugated to it and that they can and cannot perform these these actions that aren't causing anybody any harm um, because uh, 
entity um, with participants in it has told them not to. Um, it's just sad. So really all I want to do is provide some food for myself, uh, grow some things that would benefit my community, um, you know, and live in a way that interacts with nature cohesively rather than participating in big corporate um, plunderings of our natural resources. Uh, if y'all aren't familiar with what a closed loop sustainable system uh, is, research that because <clears throat> we have the potential of providing ourselves with everything we need um, or could possibly want um, without having this middleman of so-called authority telling us um, to give us a portion of our uh, labor or to give us, you know, um, basically most people are just under this mind spell that's been going on for ever, it seems, seemingly since, you know, the law um, was given. Um, it's just ridiculous to me that it's so difficult to live in a way that harmonizes with nature, and it's so easy and unbelievably immoral the way that most people live and think right now. Um, but I can't, I can't begin to describe to you guys how long it's taken me to get to this worldview. Um, an unimaginably long time of, you know, scaling the halls of the menti. You know what I'm saying? So, um, it's just, uh, it's just, uh, you know, just had to get this out here and, and let y'all know how ridiculous everything is to me. Um, and, you know, people... It's, it's difficult to say also because people consider anything outside of the norm to be a crazy or, oh, you're a conspiracy theorist. And this, I'm tired of that term because um, that term is just used to disregard people who might actually make sense and might um, go against the grain of people who are actually trying to control the way you act and think. Um, it's so absurdly obvious and sad to me that it's not absurdly obvious and sad to everyone else around me. Um, but I go day to day and do, do my thing and persist towards my goals and future. Um, it's not to say I, ha you know, I can't have a good time uh, or be happy and content because I know what I'm pursuing is right. I know, um, you know, it is often said though that the more you know, the less you know, or there is this thing called the Dunning-Kruger effect where um, if somebody thinks they are very knowledgeable on a certain subject, it's very likely that they are, in fact, not very knowledgeable about it. Um, but I'm not speaking from one specific set of standards or viewpoints or a dogmatic uh you know, definition of a certain ideology or anything like that. I'm piecing together my experience, my research, my understanding from years and years and years of how things operate and really deeply trying to understand what this realm is that we exist together in and co-create in. Um, and putting it all together and speaking it out there as far as my understanding. So anyways, I'm just rambling here. Um, little coffee talk for y'all in the morning, little dreary day. So I figured I'd get on here, shoot it, shoot it out there. And, um, I think that's all. I think that, I think I said kind of what it was on my mind. Uh, you know, in the future, I'll look back and see if this was really clear, a clear video, but I'm going to go ahead and post this one. I hope y'all are doing well. Uh, and we will see you in the future.